Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. We are in the 23rd episode of the series and today we have Shivan here with us who has been placed at the Varog group as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us today. So this is an EC core placement which is pretty exciting. So before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. All students from CSC and the core branches were eligible provided they had a 90% or a 9 CGPA in their 10th grade and a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their pursuing degree as well as in their 12th grade with no standing arrears. Now let's talk to Shivansh. Anil and congratulations on your placement. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, so hi, I'm Shivansh Mitre. I am uh, from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. I am currently in my final year, pursuing a B.Tech degree in Electronics and Communications uh, uh, from Value Institute of Technology, Chennai campus. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, you cannot tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Well, yeah. Uh, so first of all, uh, that I am. Uh, I would like to tell that I am an embedded enthusiast. I I wanted only a job in core companies. Okay. So, uh, for that I had to be very specific in choosing my role and my company. Right. right. So I made I made a very deliberate and uh, deliberate decision to not sit in IT companies, hmm. which uh, I mean, sub, I suppose was a very bold and risky move according yeah. to others. Hmm. So I only sat for uh, core companies, and uh, luckily this was only the second core company also a super team that came. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, uh where of uh, when i got these in where of where of is a global tier one tier one automotive component manufacturer and supplier mm-hmm. so hence they were looking for electrical mechanical and electronic engineers okay so uh, i mean they only shortlisted shortlisted ec ecm and mechanical related people so around 600 people gave the test uh were shortlisted to give the test mm. uh then uh, uh the For uh, that test was of about one hour. It was uh, it was divided into two sections. First section was of aptitude, which uh, comprised of logical reasoning, quantitative and cap- uh, qualitative analysis, all of that. Okay. This second round was technical, and it covered a broad spectrum of subjects from electronics, electrical, and also some e- uh, CAC portion. Okay. From electrical and electronics, uh, they covered. Uh, analog and digital circuits, then uh, microcontrollers, power uh, power systems and control systems. From CAC, they are about operating systems and uh, the mic uh, that embedded systems and everything. Then uh, uh, those were easy to medium level questions because you had to do in them in thirty odd minutes. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, around seventy students were selected for the next round, the technical interview. But she was a physical interview, so we had to go to Bellore okay. uh, to give it. The Bhopal and uh, Amravati branch, the, their students had it online. Okay. Chennai and Bellore had an online, uh, offline interview. Hmm. So the interview, you know, uh, there was only one interviewer. Hmm. He started off with standard questions like in uh, my introduction and everything, and why I chose electronics. Then we moved on. Then he uh, read my resume and. Asked me to uh, explain my favorite project in detail. Okay. With a uh, workflow diagram and a uh, little bit of coding on paper here and there. Then uh, he, in between, he was also asking some questions regarding to our project and some parts of my project in which he wanted me to go in depth. So that was that. Then after that, he moved on to basic electronics questions on. Like uh, analog circuits, like uh, characteristics of PCB, MOSFET, difference between them, characteristics of microcontrollers, CMOS, uh, and its uh, things like that. Okay. Then after that, uh, we went on to a bit uh, of logical reasoning, two uh, three logical reasoning questions, and then he asked me whether I had any questions for him. I asked him a couple of questions, and then we were done. So this was the technical interview. It lasted around forty to forty-five minutes. uh then after a uh, briefly after that i was called in for my hr round uh hr round also lasted 10 to 15 minutes they also had standard hr questions like where do i see myself in 5 years and mm. uh, what this was my dream company uh also 
like the and some questions on my extra co-curricular activities which i had mentioned in my resume then uh, uh that lasted around 15 minutes then we were done for the day so uh, around 20 from those 70 students around 20 students gave their hr interview hmm. then the shortlist then the selection list came next day which i was lucky to be a part of from those 20 students 30 students were selected okay okay Okay, that is great. Congratulations again, and thank you, thank you so much. And do you have any suggestions or anything that you want to share that you learned from your experience? Like, uh, so for students who want to pursue a career in electronics, uh, do as many hardware projects as you can, and try to build up from scratch. Mm. Uh, because then you will learn the application, you know, real world application of electronics. If you are an embedded, uh. enthusiast like me you can just pick up any development book and just start tinkering with it arduino would be best to start off with okay. then uh, what you can also do is uh, focus on bit on coding also because embedded requires both firmware and hardware hmm. then uh, after that uh, try to do some on site internships because industry exposure will surely help you a lot hmm. you can also do projects with faculties and uh, So try to get some research paper published, right. and if you uh, like, I, as a pressure, if you think this is all uh, very overwhelming, if it's not, I started developing an interest in my third year, in my fifth semester. So mm. uh, even if you are in the third year or second year, you still have a lot of time to do all of this. Mm. And uh, moving on to the placement, uh, uh, placement uh, questions, you can actually prepare for basic electronics like digital. analog circuits network mm. theory microcontrollers and all of that and uh, that's it i mean to submit uh, and uh, you know uh, do some quality projects uh, because this research papers quality projects and uh, your internships they build a very strong and impressionable resume okay mm. so to sum it all up uh, do some internships make quality projects and uh, have a very good uh, base grip on your fundamentals on electronics hmm. okay okay thank you so much thank you for your suggestions and for sharing your experience i'm sure it's going to be helpful for many people yeah thank you thank you thank you so much jishnu thank you hi everyone this is jishnu thank you all for watching if you did like this video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned because a lot more interview experiences are coming your way